Doctor, you specialize in mesotherapy. Can you talk about what that is, and in particular for pain management? Mesotherapy is a way of delivering uh, medications into the mesoderm. And what's the mesoderm? That's the layer beneath the skin. It's about six to ten millimeters of depth into this, in, into okay. the tissue of the body. It's above the uh, fascia, muscles, and it's beneath the layer of the skin. But all the nerve endings, all the lymphatic endings, a lot of uh, communication occurs at the mesoderm level. So when you put things in, such as homotoxicology formulations, or you can even put in um, magnesium, you can put in uh, procaine, you know, a numbing agent, you can actually treat a specific area and it will actually diffuse deeper into the tissue. So you can get a lasting effect that way. So we'll do mesotherapy in a number of different perspectives. There'll be a neurotherapy component to it where you may actually treat a, uh, a scar from a previous surgery hmm. or even scars from dental work. You can treat and you can do homeopathic injections or procaine injections into those scars because you want to neutralize the interference field that's created by that scar. The other thing that we look at is Baral technique. There's a way of, of adjusting the internal organs and, and assessing the internal organs and then treating the Baral points which are what they call them, called DND, dermoneurodystrophy points. So for example, the liver has three points, there's some midline points, there's heart points, lung points, they correlate a little bit with the Chapman points as well. Those can be injected. Uh, we also look for the back and the transitional zones in the spine. So the skull to the first cervical vertebrae is mm -hmm. called the OA, that's the occiput atlas area. You want to look at the C7 to T1 area, uh, that's a transition zone the thoracic spine to the lumbar spine, lumbar sacral. So there's a number of transition zones that you can treat and it also causes a bit of an auto correction in the system where people don't really need an adjustment. The body all of a sudden, once you release the tension in the system, it begins to correct itself. So there's a lot of application in mesotherapy. You can use it locally to treat pain. You can use it uh, systemically as I was describing with the Baral technique. Uh, there's just a number of different applications to it. So. What are some of the most common conditions that, that are treated by that? Gosh, actually more commonly it's used for uh, cosmetic purposes. There's hmm. a lot of uh, people doing it for um, facial, uh, getting rid of lines, uh, getting rid of cellulite. I mean, that's kind of the most common thing is the aesthetics. Okay. Uh, we, I don't really get into that as very much. I do, if I need to do mesotherapy, it's mostly the Baral technique or mostly for assessing the internal organs and, and correcting some of the imbalances in the spine. That was probably mainly how I use it, uh, but for pain, I sometimes use more prolotherapy. Mm -hmm. If we see there's some damaged tissue and you want to get in there and, and, and actually stimulate the body to heal that damaged tissue, we would use prolotherapy. Okay. So it, under the realm of, of mesotherapy, it kind of includes you know deeper into the tissue prolotherapy and dealing with the scars and, and injured and injured areas to the body and in, in the interference fields, we use neurotherapy. Mm -hmm. It's kind of an overlap in some of those things.